Gonzalez. Before we continue, a warning to our audience. In our next segment, we discuss sexual violence, a highly disturbing case here in New York that's drawn international condemnation after a man who pleaded guilty to raping and sexual assaulting four teenage girls will avoid prison after he received an extraordinarily lenient sentence of probation. Chris Belter, who's now 20 years old, received eight years probation and no jail time after he pleaded guilty to attempted first-degree sexual abuse, third-degree rape, and two counts of second-degree sexual abuse. The four teenagers who Belter sexually assaulted at his home were 15 and 16. Belter, who's white and from a prominent family who lives in a wealthy neighborhood near Niagara Falls, the sentence of probation came after Belter had been accused of more serious crimes in the four attacks, but agreed to plead guilty to lesser charges, and a previous judge gave him an interim sentence of two years probation, along with a chance to be sentenced as a youthful offender and avoid registering as a sex offender, but Belter violated the terms of that probation multiple times and was sentenced as an adult. This is Judge Matthew Murphy speaking before he delivered the sentence of probation to Chris Belter last week in Niagara County. I agonized. I, I'm not ashamed to say that I actually prayed over what is the appropriate sentence in this case. Because th there was great pain, there was great harm, there were multiple crimes committed in the case. In response to the judge's sentencing of Belter to no jail time, to probation, one of the survivors who was in the courtroom told Buffalo News Station WKBW she had to immediately run to the bathroom to throw up. I lost it. I mean, I just, I didn't expect to be as emotional as I was, but I just broke down. Uncon like, I was shaking with anger. I was disgusted at the fact that this was even an option. For more, we're joined by that brave young woman who you just heard and her lawyer, Stephen Cohen, with Hogan Willig Law Firm. Mara, we're just using her first name at her request to protect some of her privacy, testified in court about how Christopher Belter raped her when she was just 16. She's now speaking out about Judge Murphy's decision to sentence him to probation. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Mara, we want to begin with you, and I know this is difficult. You're remarkably brave to talk publicly. Talk about your reaction to the sentence of probation. How did you respond in the courtroom? 